In this series of videos, we will cover the basics of Latin syllabification and syllable length, which we call syllable quantity for the purposes of Latin poetry. This inquiry is important because of how Latin poetry is constructed. While most traditional English poetic meters are based on which syllables are stressed, such as Shakespearean iambic pentameter, Latin poetry is instead based on syllable quantity or length. Syllable length in Latin is determined by a particular set of phonetic principles, some of which are intuitive to English speakers and some of which are not. Our first step to examining Latin meter is to learn about the Latin syllables. We will first look at Latin vowel sounds, then consonants, and finally how they work together to determine syllable length. My discussion is by no means exhaustive, but it will cover the main points. In Latin, a word has as many syllables as vowel sounds. For example, the word puer has two syllables. The basic vowel sounds in Latin are displayed on the screen. Latin also has a small number of diphthongs, which literally means having two sounds. These are two vowel sounds in the same syllable that are slurred together. In Latin, these often form a distinct sound, for example, in puelli. The Latin diphthongs are i, oi, au, a, eu. Note that when you are dealing with foreign words, like Greek ones in Latin, those sequences of vowels may not actually be diphthongs. Two letters deserve note. The first is i. i can either be vocalic, that is, like a vowel, or consonantal, that is, like a consonant. It is consonantal when it is between two vowels or when it is in the front of a vowel at the beginning of a word, for example, in Jupiter or Eudex. In these cases, it is pronounced y. Because it is treated like a consonant, it does not create a new syllable. Ubeo has three syllables, not four. Note that English derivatives often indicate the consonantal nature of the I. For example, jussive from ubeo, judicial from udex. Compounds and prefixes do not typically change the nature of the I. Ugo, but also con ugo, not con eugo. The second letter is u, which can also be vocalic or consonantal. It takes on a consonantal nature under basically the same circumstances as the letter I and is pronounced wa, for example, in siwus or welle. In addition, qu, qua, counts as a single consonantal sound in Latin, as do sometimes gu, gua, and su, swa. Examples of these include quid, sanguis, and suavis. Quorum only has two syllables. For this same reason, sanguis and suavis only have two syllables as well, with neither of the u's acting like a vowel. Again, English can help. Suave from suavis. We have now covered the main points about Latin vowels. We will next move on to the consonants before using what we will have learned about both to learn about syllable quantity.